Hello, hello. As we await today's opening bell on Wall Street, there are a few hot tickers on the Yahoo Finance platform this morning. First up is the always volatile AMC and really an ugly session or a close uh, yesterday for AMC. The basic gist is this. They're looking to sell more of these ape preferred shares that could potentially raise up to $1.6 billion from this. So the basic read was that uh, this is negative for AMC stock, perhaps better for ape. Uh, but again, these Tickers have been hot on our platform the past 24 hours. Makes sense. It's always a volatile name, especially around uh, developments like this when AMC tries to raise cash to pay down debt. Right. Looking at to looking to raise this to kind of pay down some of their general corporate expenses. But for all of what AMC has done to try and shore up liquidity, just to navigate whatever the reopening process continues to look like for movie theaters and in the face of, I mean, they've been able to benefit a little bit from some of the big titles that have come to theaters, but it's largely the shift in how consumers are willing to spend those dollars and in an inflationary environment too, where I've perhaps seen the most movies of, of any year recent years um, this year because of titles. Thanks for the invite. No, yeah, Appreciate I'm it. sorry. It's yeah. usually a last minute decision. Right. Um, I Have do you some seen anything crunching. since The Woman, Ki Woman King? That was well, the last no, one that was the, about. That was the last big one, right? That I'm was not just two, go, a couple weeks ago. Right, I'm not going to go see Avatar, the original one again, yeah. because that just got re-released. But I think it really is on, on the strength of titles that AMC has to bank on, as well as the, um, the availability for some of the customers that are there to also just continue to go back for whatever that movie might be at a time where also, why are we going to get a, a resurgence or a reboot of MoviePass too? And so oh gosh. all That's of that considered, sure. okay. you're going to see more of the AMC Stubbs list members try to get wooed by an AMC to, to just continue to come back for any movie title, but they're not going to do that. I don't think that's going to be the well, reality. The bottom line is AMC needs more cash, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And the fact that it is raising that cash mm -hmm. Should I mean the company has always been very transparent about that that it was going to continue to do this that it might sell more of these ape shares right but the fact that they're doing it that they still need to tap the markets and they that they are tapping the markets in an in, in a rising interest rate environment because there was the report on Friday that it was considering refinancing some of its debt. Mm. Now, you're going to refinance debt right now? I don't know what they're paying now that they're going to refinance at a lower... I, I don't know. It's just an like this engineering that um, Adam Aaron continues to do at the company, which has helped it by and large in the eyes of investors. At some point... You got to, I don't know, you got to pay the piper. I, I did like loosely tie this. I like that Adam spent the weekend with uh, AMC shareholders visiting. Uh, they watched Avatar in the movie theater. I wish more, I get it on Avatar. I get it. I know what he's trying to do. I know he's hyping it. But look, I, I wish more executives went out and, and dealt with the commoners. Uh, maybe I should go out and buy one share of Ben Beth Beyond and maybe new CEO C Sue Gove would walk some stores with me. I mean, I, that would be great. Get out there. Go talk to your shareholders. Walk these stores. Yeah. Tell us your transformation plan. I like what Adam's doing. I really like it. I'll go watch a movie with him. Well, they've got to remain extremely bullish on themselves, especially at a time where Cineworld is going through its own issues, which AMC then had to address at the midpoint of August and talking about their liquidity ending the second quarter with more than a billion dollars in liquidity only thanks to significant amounts of cash raised in calendar years 2020 and 2021. And so it seems like even more of that cash is going to be necessary in the near term to also mitigate AMC from some of the similar macro issues that a Cineworld may be facing too.